Hello everybody. So I am Dr. Neha Taneja, your mentor and guide for preventive and social medicine on Unacademy platform. And today it gives me immense pleasure to welcome two very special guests on this platform, Dr. Likhit and Dr. Ruthwik Kanse. So both of them appeared for FMG on 31st August 2020. And uh, I'm very happy to say that both of them have cleared the examination. Uh, so we'll just be having a little chit chat with them. I welcome both of you. Hello, Likhit and hello, Ruthwik. Many, many congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Means a lot. Thanks. Thank you, ma'am. So how do you feel now? How are you feeling? Finally, from became doctor to doctors now. Yeah, I can totally understand that. How about you, Likhit? How, Likhit, how do you feel? Definitely, definitely. Um, it's an ima it's uh, other feeling, ma'am, which is a new feeling we had never faced before. Uh, it's, you start, people start recognizing you after this, you know. It's it's really a great feeling. Yes, I can totally understand. All of you students are under too much of pressure, and then to clear uh, the screening exam, it kind of lifts off so much of burden from your head. Uh, that's there. Mm, yes. Okay. Uh, so, Likit, where did you do your MBBS from? You did it from you. Uh, you did it from. Where did you do it from? I did it from Ukraine, ma'am. I just uh, recently passed out from 2019 in Ukraine. Okay. All right. How about you, Ruthwik? Where did you do your MBBS? I'm from, I'm from Russia, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so, if you don't mind me asking, uh, uh, was it your first attempt, second attempt? So, just describe your journey a little. Okay. It's my second attempt. Okay. Uh, so, for the first attempt, I was a little stressed, so I can't reach to the score. Uh -huh. And so, and for the first attempt, I scored almost 145. Okay. So, this time I worked a little hard and okay. a little focused, and this time I attend uh, almost 190 marks. Wow, that's very nice. That's great. How about you, Likhit? Uh, yes, ma'am. The first time... Um... I did study, I did cover uh, the whole to uh, subjects, but I didn't get enough time to revise all the subjects. Mm -hmm. So I lacked the, the revision is what I couldn't do. Uh, at least uh, two or three times I couldn't make it. So I think that's where I went down in my first attempt. But this time, yes, we had enough time and as well as a lot of uh, uh, special classes and all those which you have guided us and I think uh, that made us uh, do it this time crack. Wow that's really nice uh, they have already given you a tip that the key to success for such examinations is revision uh, that, that they've already told you. Okay, That's uh, what I understood <laughs> that's yes, what I got definitely. to know after the exam. Definitely it's yeah. consistency and revision. Asha there's one more thing that uh, did you both appear for the mock exam that was hosted by Unacademy right before your uh, main uh, FMG examination did you appear for that? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma so uh, how, how did you find the questions and did that really help you get a grip and uh, feel more confident towards your... Yes, mom, it, uh, yes, uh, yes ma'am, it really helps a lot. Like mm -hmm. there is a, most of the clinical based questions and mostly the images ones. Mm -hmm. So in that mock test, I almost cover uh, 160 I scored. Wow. So it gave me a confidence that this time I will definitely pass this exam. Okay, that's really important. So... Yes. Yes, ma'am. This exam is really boosting my confidence and my mood toward my exams. That's really nice because the questions that we curate, you know, that are curated right before such entrances actually give you a focus and uh, give you a confidence that you are on the right direction. That's very nice. So I would like to ask both of you, uh, when did you actually start preparing for your FMG? Like, uh, when did that thing, that seriousness come? And uh, how about when the day is starting getting closer, how did you then start doing it? So when did you exactly start your preparation? Uh, Mom, actually, um... We had started after our graduation itself. Uh, we because we didn't know much earlier about the online platform and all those things. Uh, so after when we started, 
uh, but i guess it was not much enough time to do it uh, in mm-hmm. and to crack it first time itself so hardly uh, 3 3 4 months before the exam started preparation okay so like you gave in a lot of dedication right 4 uh, to 5 months before the examination yeah yeah okay all right ruthvik how about you when did you start like preparing for the examination yes yes ma i start preparing almost 4 uh, to 5 months before exam but mm-hmm. the seriousness come just before one month of exam so that's why i didn't crack in first attempt so for the second attempt i almost start like from jan to feb so it gave me a plenty of months to revise okay okay that's very nice and what were the challenges that you faced during your preparation any challenges in particular that you faced other than you know managing your time or managing your uh, or or you were facing some kind of stress so what were all those challenges of you know getting into the study plans any challenges that you faced during this period of your preparation uh mom regarding the first attempt though it was uh, it was totally a, i would say it was a, a really a big challenge to set up in a different city and uh, to work on it but from yeah. the second attempt is when um, we got to know about the life classes and the academy i think uh, if i'm not wrong i think we are the first batch uh, maybe from the academy from your class i guess Uh, yeah you and i just joined it up i think in uh, june june itself and it was yeah. really and you were our my first batch exactly fmg students all of you yes you were my first batch so i remember you from that day onwards so i hope classes did help all of you you know Definitely. in uh, achieving your success Definitely, ma'am. okay that's very nice and um, uh, one thing more i would like you know want to ask you how did you uh, strategize yourself how many hours did you devote to studies and uh, right before the examination how many hours were you devoting to studies and like like what were the total number of hours you were putting in Go ahead. Just, just come out okay. with the real facts that have you know helped you gain your success. Okay, uh, ma'am. Uh, it was actually when we uh, we started seriously when when after the information bulletin was released and the date was announced is when we actually devoted more number of hours for the preparations. Mm-hmm. For example, we started around uh, say like we had a goal. Like I had a goal to set up. to for 13 minimum of 13 hours which most of the educators even during the uh, schedule planning they told us so so if if it was minimum 14 hours at least we used to i was able to use uh, reach up to 11 hours at least okay so you were consistent in maintaining those 11 hours every day right yes yes okay yes. how about you ruthvik how many hours did you devote to your preparation Yes, ma'am. Almost uh, thirteen to fourteen hours. I start my day from seven, mm-hmm. seven to nine, and constantly read from any short subjects. Mm-hmm. Then every day at nine a.m. there is a new class. Mm-hmm. So this class is boost my mood. So after mm-hmm. again ten thirty to almost uh, two to three o'clock, I read any long subject. Mm-hmm. Then from three to five, I take uh, I took a small break for two hours, mm-hmm. and then again five. to 10 o'clock i'll read any small subjects this is my strategy from first month till the end of the exam wow uh, you've shared a really important rather i would say a really really important point of the entire day how you should be doing uh, short subjects and then the huge ones so that's yes. very nice and how many mcqs did you practice in a day how many mcqs were you practicing in a day roughly actually not not a specific number i start mm-hmm. from i set a target like from 2 to half hour how much i can solve mm-hmm. so from the starting i only attend hardly 15 to 100 mcq but till okay. at end of the month i almost cover almost 200 mcqs in okay, that specific wow. time period okay and you had distributed those mcqs equally among all the subjects or was it like some yes, subject ma'am, you- yeah. Okay, okay. And look at how many MCQs were you practicing in a day? 
मैम मिनिमम आई यूज टू प्रैक्टिस अराउंड हंड्रेड फिर सेवन एटी टू हंड्रेड आफ्टर माई आई यूज टू डू इट आफ्टर माई लंच आवर्स और आफ्टर द डिनर टाइम so okay. i used to do it like that okay, and most that's... of the mcqs do we already uh, we uh, from the mcq marathon uh, mm-hmm. course so that's what uh, i relied on okay all right that's really nice practicing mcq maintaining consistency and revision both of you have given us these points okay so i wanted to ask uh, likhit and ruthvik that um, did you subscribe to the plus uh, cl- plus courses the batch courses that are offered by an academy that we give you at an academy did you subscribe to those courses oh yes ma'am actually i had enrolled it for the mcq marathon uh, fmg Oh, okay batch. all right okay ruthvik you also subscribe to that yes ma'am all right uh, so since both of you were plus subscribers uh, uh, batch subscribers who had taken the batch courses at an academy i would like to ask you how did the live interaction with your educators on an academy platform help you like uh, were they like a motivating factor were they like helping you in uh getting your subjects very clear so how did that live interaction exactly help you yes ma'am the live interaction is really helpful for me actually it gives me a recent updates or mm-hmm. whatever recent new changes for your class you gave a special recent changes uh, on two or three lectures right mm-hmm. this really helps me a lot and uh, this really helps to clear the doubt on the spots or you have any confusion suggestions so yeah this is really plays and big role in my success the live classes only okay all right click it how about you uh yes from the live classes uh, what i felt good is uh, it's more interactive uh, between the faculty and the students and uh, it's easy to uh, make our concepts clear and as well as the polling and i think that's that's the unique what an academy has i guess and the polling and the leaderboard is what makes makes us more feel compet actually uh, good and special life is okay all right that's very good to hear from both of you and uh, there's one thing i would also like to ask you at any point did you feel stressed or did you feel that bahut ho gaya you wanted to give up how did you tackle such situations because it do- does come up in students life right so what were you thinking those times how did you get back into the game once such thoughts used to come to your mind Yes, Likhit, you're smiling. Go ahead, tell us. How uh, did yes, you ma'am. like? Uh. Definitely, yes. We we all faced that. Um, so I used to just think of it. Okay, if I'm not able to, if I'm not getting the mood, uh, so I was like, okay, hardly just few more days, just few more days. Let me do it. Let me do it. Then it's all on us, you know. It's and though it's a our uh, second attempt and we we'll ha- we had to do it I, as you were always saying us like think it think as it is your first and last like it's your last attempt and never again and it's yes. always a uh, road to neat pg so i was always uh, that was always ringing in my ears so, so i was again back up like let me do it let me do it so it was like that very good so you never like kind of deviated away from your track good how about you ritwik did any time you feel you felt that stress or bahut ho gaya bas ab nahi hoga aisa kuch hua tha mai sa obviously ma'am even every time like but at that time uh, i do a stupid thing like i wrote a doctor ritwik kanse and my mm-hmm. target is 200 to 200 plus and i yeah. stick it on front of my bed Mm-hmm. and i hang my apron in front of my bed so i was like i have to wear that white coat again and again now so it okay. is almost and been year now i didn't wear that coat so mm-hmm. i have to wear it again so this is my what say inspiration or motivation i i can totally understand that that is actually a very good way of keeping your motivation there ki wo white coat pehne itna time ho gaya we have to you know you have to get back into the game that's very nice i swear very inspiring and motivating i'm sure to the students who are listening to both of you today and um, also did you get any time to you know exercise or did you practice H- how about your free time whatever little free time you could manage what did you do in that were you like uh, 
playing games or were you exercising or what did you exactly do how did you spend that time because as it is that time is very less so you know how did you utilize that time ki tumhe wapas se it will give you an interest in studies what did you do rutvik in your free time during your preparation active meditation meditation is helped me a lot in that yes. case yeah very important point meditation very good how about you likhit what did you do uh, ma'am i was just uh, going on jogging in the evening times hardly some half an hour time that's it yes so that's what i'm trying to emphasize here that uh, throughout you know studying the entire day doesn't help actually you have to keep some time to yeah. you know boost and motivate yourself meditation exercising are very important Okay, one last thing. How has our platform and academy helped both of you? In um, how much do you um, uh, do, like? How has it played a role in your success today? We'd be very happy to hear that from both of you. So please go ahead and tell us something. How it helped you? How an academy it, helped you? It really helps a lot. Uh, at the very beginning, when mm -hmm. I joined an academy. uh the leader board is actually mm -hmm. helps a lot so from the very first okay. i was almost at 180 on leader board so mm -hmm. day by day i was like i have to become a top 10 then mm -hmm. within 2 to 3 months i am become a top 10 at the mm -hmm. end i was like no i have to be a top 3 now mm -hmm. so this uh, little wins helps me a lot then an academy this is a really good platform where there is a recent updates you can chit chat with uh, teachers live so mm. it is really helpful for me as yes of course the 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 online thing the to be able to communicate with your educators yeah. is very important and that's the need of the hour and you know in future times also that is how it's going to stay okay that's really good to hear how about you likhit how did an academy play a role in your success so yes ma'am definitely yes um um during the special classes is when i thought the polling and all because it was all new for us so i it was really uh, good and the timings which it shows you know like in how many seconds we answer and that helped her to that helped us to you know grab grab up the timing and uh, and uh, and the mcq marathon is when you had launched the course so so we joined the course and it was really very much helpful the polling and the to build the concepts right yeah Ma, along that, with the questions yeah okay so are you going to uh, recommend an academy to your juniors as well i hope you've already done that we have already done that <laughs> okay that's very nice and uh, that's actually motivating and inspiring for all the educators also you know so just before we end the interview one last word any suggestion to your juniors both of you please any golden point any suggestion you would like to give to your juniors who would be appearing in or to your colleagues maybe who would be appearing in december 2020 for fmg go ahead ignore yes. just ignore the people be focused be confident and accept whatever happened and again recollect yourself and stay focused till the end that's only thing you have to be success wow that's really really nice staying focused and yeah. just uh, just being consistent look at any words that you would like to tell our uh, learners today um uh, nothing much ma'am that's what um uh, as the pattern also has changed and they have to back up on the concepts and much more deeper in the medicine and thought that's what uh, Stay focused and consistent. Hardly two more months. Even the dates are announced now, so we'll, they'll hardly have any time to think anything else. So let them push them, push it harder, and crack it. That's it. Wow! All right. Thank you so much. So these were some tips for you all, you learners. Be consistent. Believe in yourself, and just just be there, and you will. Um, definitely crack your examination thank you so much for joining us likhit and ruthvik uh, it's a pleasure to have you have both of you here and i'm sure most of the people everybody who's heard you has is inspired and motivated so thank you so much yeah thanks a lot thank you ma'am thank you ma'am okay thank you thank you, thank you.